Zeric. I'll be taking you through the topic natural numbers under the subtopic operations on whole numbers. So we, we are going to look at uh, so we are going to look at operation plus or addition and then for this lesson again we are going to look at operation minus or subtraction and then at the end of the top at the end of the subtopic I'm going to give you some questions to help you with the understanding of the same concepts. So of our first example is here. We have the number 98. You, you, you add uh, 6734 and then you add 348. So we want to see how do you add numbers? How do you do this operation? So basically what you need to do when you have such a question, you need to arrange the numbers in a vertical form. You can see in the previous example, the numbers are arranged horizontally. So what you're supposed to do, the first thing is to arrange the numbers vertically. So another thing that you need to observe is that as you arrange the numbers vertically, you must make sure that you arrange them according to the place values of the digits. For example, the first one here, eight, is in the ones place value. So we must make sure that all the digits in the position of ones place value are arranged along this line that is basically below eight. And uh, nine, nine here is in the tens place value. So you must make sure that all the digits in the tens place value are arranged here can see. Then when you come down here, the number seven is in the hundreds. So you must make sure that all the digits in the hundreds place value are in that line. Then finally, we have six in the thousands place value. So you must make sure again, all the digits in the thousands place value are arranged along that line. Unfortunately, the other numbers do not have other digits falling in that position all of the place value so after that you can then start the process of operation where you add the the digits so you sum up all the digits in a particular line for example this line here i'll start with eight you add it to four that will give us 12 and then you add eight to 12 so that is going to give us zero two or uh, you add eight, two to eight will give us 10. So we write zero, carry one. So one is brought here, you add the two and then you get two. So the answer here is 20, but I will only write zero here and then I carry forward two. Two. So I will add the two plus nine to give me 11. And then we add 3 to 11, the 3 that is here, that will give us 4, 1. And then finally we will add 4, that will give us 8, 1. So again, I'm only going to write 8 and we carry over 1. So you can see 8 is written there. And then 1 that is carried over, we'll write it just on top of the next digit 7. So we'll add 7, 1 to 7 to give me 8. And then 8, I will add 3 to give me 11. I will only write 1, and then I carry 1. So that one, again, I'll write it on top of 6. So I add 1 to 6, will give me 7. And so the sum of the two numbers is giving me 7,180 as the correct answer. So I want us to look at another example and see how still you apply the same concept of addition of numbers. So there is another example. We have another example here. So this example now we have uh, 6,349. You're adding 259. And then after that, you're adding 79,542. So again, you can see 9 here is in the ones place value. So 
all the digits in the ones place value in the other numbers. We have this number here. We have this other number. So all the digits in the ones place value must be written along the same line. You arrange them. And remember, we have to start just like we've looked at that in the in our previous videos, that the place values are supposed to be read from the farthest right going into the left. So we start from 9 here once, once, once. Then you go to tens. So tens, second number, five is in the tens. So they are all in one line, as you can see, in one line. And then we have three, two, five. All of them are in the hundreds, hundreds, less value. So we have all of them in that line. And then now we have six in the thousands place value so six and then the other nine this one the middle one does not have digits in the uh, in the thousands place value so you just omit or you can write zero if you want to but you can also just omit and then this first number here does not have digits in the ten thousands ten thousands place value but the last one has which is seven so there we will not write anything or maybe if you wanted to write you could write zero even here you can still write zero but still you can just do without it so where we have no digits possibly you can as well fill in the gap using zeros so that all the numbers we are adding are having the same number of digits now we start the process of addition and remember just like we did in the previous case we're supposed to start the process from the farthest right going into the left so you start with 9, you add 9, that is giving us 18. And then you add 2. So 8 plus 2 is 10. You write 0, carry 1. Then that one, you write it on top of this one here. 1 plus 1 will give us 2. So this is giving us 20. So you write 0, we carry 2. That 2, you'll write it on top of the next digit or the next line. So we have that 2, we add 4, that is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, so 11, you add 4, so 1 plus 4 is 5, and then here there is nothing, so you have 1, so that is giving us 15, we'll write 5 only, and then we carry 1, so that 1, you write it on top of the next digit here, so again that 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 plus 5 is 11. Again, we write 1, we carry 1. So that 1, you write it on top of this, this next digit here. So 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 0 is still 7, and 7 plus 9 is 16. So again, we write 6, we carry 1. So that 1, again, you add to 0, will give us 1. Again, 1 plus 0 will give us 1, and 1 plus 7 is 8. And that's how we are getting our number, 86,150 as the sum of the two. So that's basically how you do addition of numbers. So let's go to subtraction or operation minus and see how we do operation. Uh, we can uh, we see how we do operations on uh, subtraction or sometime you can call it minus. So we have... Two examples just to help us understand the concept. So we have the first example here is supposed to work out to evaluate. 73,469, you are subtracting 8,971. Want to see how you do it. So the solution is you are supposed to arrange, you rearrange. Remember these numbers are, are, are organized horizontally. So the first thing that you're supposed to do is to arrange them vertically. So the numbers should be arranged in a vertical form and digits lined up in their correct place value. I've explained what that is all about in the previous example, how you are able to arrange the digits according to their correct place values, where digits falling in the same place value are supposed to be in one line vertically. So this is how the arrangement is done. You can see 9 is in the same place value as 1 in the second number, 6 and 7, 4 and 9, uh, hundreds, three and eight, thousands, and of course seven. So down here there is nothing. Possibly you can fill in the gap using zeros just to make it look nice. Yes. 
So you don't have to put the zero. Zero, I'm just in, including the zero there to make it look nice. Then now you can start the process of uh, subtraction just like we did it in the addition operation. What you do is you start from the farthest right going into the left. So I will start with nine, you subtract one is eight. Six, you subtract seven, you realize that six is less than seven. So there is trouble there. So you need to figure out how you're going to go about it. So what you normally do, you borrow one from the next digit. And then as you bring it on board, as you get it to six, you carry it over as 10, not just one. So every time you're borrowing from one, one, one digit to another digit, as it goes to the next digit, it goes as 10. So the one that we are borrowing from four will make four remain three, but then we are carrying it to the other side as, as 10. So if you add it to six, it will be 16 here. So this 16 is now what you're going to subtract seven and you get nine. So nine is the answer there. Again, here we are having three. We are supposed to be subtracting nine. So you see that is trouble again. So again, you have to borrow one from, from, from three here. So it will remain two. Every time you borrow, you have to write it on top there so that you don't forget. That's the only reason I'm writing them at the top, lest I forget. So as I bring that one to four to three here again, it's not coming as one, but coming as 10. So if you add 10 to three, that will be 13. So 13, you subtract nine, that is four. You see, four, you write it below that line. So we have again two, you're supposed to be subtracting eight. Again, trouble, that is less. So how do you subtract? It's less. So I have to borrow from the other digit again. As I borrow from the other digit, remember to write six. The only time I'm writing the number remaining there, I mean, the only reason I'm writing the number remaining there is just to make sure that I don't forget. So as I carry that one to the next digit here, it will be coming as 10, as I've said. So it comes as 10. So if you add 10 to 2, it becomes 12. And of course, 12 minus 8 is 4. So we write it below that line. Now here we have 6. 6, we subtract 0. That is 6. So the subtraction or the minus of the two numbers, if you subtract 73, uh, we have 73,469, you subtract 8,971, the answer is supposed to be 64,498 as the correct answer. So this is the second example and is the we have the second example here and of course it's the last one we are doing for today. Um, we have... Uh, 36,897, we are subtracting uh, 3,987. You want to see how you do that operation. So the first thing that you've said is supposed to be done is to do rearrangement so that the digits are linearly arranged vertically according to the place values of the digits. And I've said that you can see 8 is in the 1's place value with 7 in the second number, 9 with 8 in the second number, 8 and 9, 6 and 3, and of course, here there is nothing. So possibly you can fill in the gap using zero. And then, of course, after that, we just start the process of subtraction. Remember here, it's minus. So you subtract digit by digit. That is according to the place value, starting with ones place value. Then you go to the tens place value. Then you go to the hundreds place value. Then thousands and then ten thousands and so on and so forth. So eight, we subtract seven is one. And then nine, we subtract eight is again one. Now, when we come to this other eight, it's trouble. Eight is less. So we have to borrow one from, from six. So it will be remaining. Six will be remaining five because we've subtracted one. And we've said, as we take that one to the next digit, it goes as 10. So 10 plus eight is 18. So this 18 is what we're subtracting nine and we're getting nine down here. Five subtracting three will be two. And of course, uh, this is three. So three, you subtract this zero will be three. We'll be having three here. So this is this is three. This one here is three. So we are having three subtracting zero to give us three. So the answer will be thirty two thousand nine hundred and eleven as the correct answer for that working. So remember we have subtracted we have subtracted eight minus seven to give us one, nine minus eight to give us one. Here, 8 was not possible because 8 was less than 9. So we borrowed 1 from 6, remaining 5 there, and then 18. Remember, as the, the digit is carried from one digit to the next digit, it goes here as, as 10. So 10 plus 8 is 18, and 18 minus 9 is 9. Here now we're having 5 remaining, no longer 6. So this 5, we subtract 3 is 2. And then now this is still 3. So 3, we subtract 0, is supposed to be 3. So the answer is 32,911. 
and that marks the end of our discussion uh, for this video so few questions to just few questions to help you with the understanding and also to practice on what we've been learning during this lesson you're supposed to evaluate the following and the questions that we're supposed to work out are displayed on the screen so do attempt and post the responses on the comment section we'll be able to look at them and give feedback accordingly bye